hear what they're saying? America free. Yes, we can. Wait, okay, wait a minute now. Let's hear it again. Let's, let's hear it again because some people might not want to think and might not want to accept what they heard. Now, all of you Negroes out there, all of you Christians who was all for Obama, you don't realize who he is. This son of a bitch has been playing you and he's suave. The boy looked good. It's the first thing I heard from the sisters. Boy, he looked good. Boy, he looked good. He dressed. Boy, he looked clean. Look at his clothes. He's become a superstar. They got people in Korea voting for the presidency over here. Koreans wanting him to be president. Because, as, as Brother said, Barack Obama is the first leader of the New World Order. The first elected president of the New World Order. Understand that the, that the chant they gave you so that the rest of the world would say it is not a regular chant that they would give you. These people study how to use reverse speech to give praises to their creator or their master. Check again. Yes, we can. 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 Hey, you say. 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 I rest my case. And you say. And you say. And you say. And you say. Now all the people that hate me because they love Barack Obama, as they hate everybody who don't like him because he's black. He ain't black. Because he done told you like Tiger Woods, I ain't black. I'm a mixture and I'm a mutt. So I say this, you know, I'm looking at a black man up there who say he ain't black, and I'm looking at white women going crazy. Nuts, because Obama, and he's suave and debonair, you know, he walks up there. <laughs> and you know, they have made, they put Howdy Doody in there beforehand. They put a retarded, brain-dead, monarch mind control creature in there to completely set it off. Now you got a Tebonair man coming in looking clean. Who you gonna pick? You know, I mean, it, 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 was, it was a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer. And now we're gonna understand what mechanisms were behind that. I took this from a clipping about this dude. His name was Hal Becker. And he was a consultant for the Futures Group who used to give information to CBS, NBC, and all the big stations on how to promote products to the people. Said, I know the secret of making the average American believe anything I want him to. Just let me control television. You put something on the television that it becomes reality. If the world outside the TV set contradicts the images, people start trying to change the world to make it like the TV set images. Okay? And we move along. Television is the United States of Consciousness. Television equals the United States of Consciousness. Because that's what they do. They organize your consciousness so that when they put out something on the TV and you see a commercial, everybody can identify because everybody has seen it and your consciousness has been entrained. But here's something deep. Something called the 24th, 25th shot was found in Pokemon, and I think you already know about this. Psychologists in the Russian southern city of Krasnoma called, uh, called on the Russian government to ban television Pokemon, televising Pokemon. Many other countries, including Japan itself, have tabooed it. Krasoda psychologists assert that a 25th shot strobe light system is applied in the cartoon that negatively affects children's subconscious. 
as a result of this stroke, stroke dosing, a neuro-linguistic programming occurs, or to put it more succinctly, a zombifying effect. The psychologists characterize this phenomenon as intellectual genocide. Moving right along, we haven't really scratched the surface. The Reese Network spent all of World War I studying the effects of war psychosis and its breakdown of individual personality. From their work, a wicked thesis emerged. Through the use of terror, they found that man can be reduced to a childlike and submissive state in which his powers of reason are clouded and in which his emotional response to various situations and stimuli can become predictable or, in Tavistock, Tavistockian terms, proliferable. By controlling the levels of anxiety, it is possible to induce a similar state in large groups of people whose behavior can then be controlled and manipulated by the oligarchic forces for whom Tavistock worked. Now, an authoritative expose of this called the greatest brainwashing organization to ever exist in the course of human is revealed in Dr. John Coleman's latest book entitled The Tavistock Institute of Human Relations, Shaping the Moral, Cultural, Political, and Economic Decline of the United States of America. This man was former British intelligence. This is the book you need to get, The Tavistock Institute of Human Relations. Those of you interested in mind control and the technology behind it. In another of his 15 books entitled The Committee of 300, he writes that the aim of the parasitic elite is to gain unilateral control of the earth and that part of their working strategy has been, quote, to weaken the moral fiber of nations and to demoralize workers in the labor chaos classes by creating mass unemployment. Is that what we got now? As jobs dwindle due to the post-industrial zero growth policies introduced by the Club of Rome, the report envisage, envisages demoralized and discouraged workers resorting to alcohol and drugs. And everybody's got a depression drug somewhere. The youth of the land, listen carefully, the youth of the land will be encouraged by means of rock music and drugs to rebel against the status quo, thus undermining and eventually destroying the family unit. In this regard, the committee commissioned Tavistock Institute to prepare a blueprint as, we how, uh, as to how this could be achieved. We move on to find out Tavistock directed research, Sanford Research, to carry out the work under the direction of Professor Willis Harmon, President Institute of the Noetic Sciences. This work later became known as the Aquarian's Conspiracy. Listen carefully. An FBI internal memo from 1968 mentions the employment of a perpetually touring rock group called the Grateful Dead. All right? And rebellion into more of benign, non-threatening directions. They hired the Grateful Dead. They performed a virtual service, a vital service, in distracting many young persons into drugs and mysticism rather than into politics. Now, anybody has ever seen this particular symbol of the Grateful Dead? Did anybody ever know what it means? Okay? Can somebody tell me what these symbols mean? Well, first and foremost, okay, that's just in case. Well, let me just explain something to you. This is Hiram Abiff. The top hat is the top hat of, for all you masons in the house, the worshipful master. The lightning bolt represents the Nazis, the SS. But then, what you don't understand and overstand is that the lightning bolt has 13 edges. The 13 royal families. You don't understand as well that the red and the blue is the red and the blue houses of masonry. York House, the red, and the Scottish Rites in the blue. There is no game! There is no game. There is only control. And I put her in there constantly because this is one witch. 
you have to understand that there was a kissing going on. You saw the kissing crew when she was kissing on um, what's her name? That was a ritual. Christina Aguilera as well as Britney Spears. She was cut. She came down in the top hat, the hat of the worshipful master, Madonna. Stealing from Africa. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Same, the same. You know, you know. That's one of our. That's our graveyard, uh, uh, Arisha. Moving right along. We got hip hop parade. Ho, hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho. Hip hop parade. You remember those days? We went from hip hop parade. Huh? You recognize the faces? Who yes. cool hurt? Oh my goodness, who's that? <laughs> Rakim? Sister Soldier? Immortal Technique? Y'all need to get into that, brother? And of course, Dead Press? Hmm? And Griff? And Nas, when he want to be. Yeah. And most deaf, that's when it was hip hop hooray. But now it's hip hop proceed. Oh. Hip hop proceed essentially birthed a whole other paradigm. Hypocrisy destroyed the holographic pathways that were being made by Hip Hop Array. Because who, remember, is not just who Ray, it's who was the first word spoken into existence. So when I say Hip Hop Who, Array, Ara, we're talking about a time when the words were happy words, but there were also words that were uplifting us. They were giving us a purpose and we were marking out our own inevitability by it. Remember we spoke about, huh? Pre-orchestrating inevitability? Well, they had to put in hypocrisy to divert those energies and to use your lens, as you will see later, your lens to deal with decoding light frequencies that put you into this bullshit here. And this is the most popular form of hip hop today. Why? Because this beast that I showed you first is the one who is pushing it. Why do you think these Negroes can be going around styling and profiling? Who's giving them their money? You think they earning that? Do you think that this jackass really put the company together called Sean John? Do you think this nigga with the capital N really is doing something for the general black population to uplift them and their consciousness? He is a front, a meat puppet with no hands up his ass moving his mouth. <laughs> and this brother came out last to make sure you were reinforced to believe that there was a... Told you, there is no game. But when you began to know there was no game, they say, wait a minute, no, we got to make them, we got to remind them this again. So you're going to call yourself the game. And of course, my poor deluded sister here. The last time I saw a woman like this was when I was helping delivering a child. Not inviting the world to come over and start, you know, pleasuring themselves psychologically. And this goddamn word has become part of the lexicon. We're going to get into that too. So we deal with hip hop. I don't call it hip hop. I call the bullshit that they put out there with this little Wayne hip hop. 
And you go and you look at the word hot in the American Dictionary, it means what? To pawn, but it also means a prison pen. And don't you got to have your street creds before you have, you got to have this shot twice. No, shot twice. Mine's a spot. I got shot six times. What kind of criteria is that? Unless you got shot by the police or you were shot in some kind of guerrilla action for your people. Right. To pawn a prison pen. To hawk is to trick, to deceive, chicanery, to fool or deceive, a hoax, to infuse food or drink with a drug. <laughs> Hip hock is a psyop. Hip hop is a die-up. It's been killing your consciousness. It's been warping your children's reality. It's been killing you. 